So, I did this little crying thing yesterday, and all these people were worried about me, and they thought that some pretty bad things were happening, but what they didn't understand was that sometimes you just need to cry and get it out, right? So, I cried, and I don't know, it felt good to cry, you know? Um, what did I do yesterday? I boycotted the family Christmas party. It wasn't like a big deal. I just felt like staying by myself and not trying to entertain people with my usual charm, you know? I fucked up my nails tonight. See that one? I wasn't real happy about it, but, okay, so I planned on cooking yesterday and hanging out by myself and then going out with Lucian and, I don't know. Not much of what I planned yesterday really happened. I didn't cook. I had frozen food instead. I didn't decorate the house for Christmas. I didn't go to the family Christmas party. <laughs> I told everybody that I was going to color my hair instead because I just didn't feel like dealing with all those people. So I sent some food over and I stayed home. And that is what happened. Okay, so Lucian decided that we weren't getting together tomorrow night, last night, whatever, you know, I'm kind of tired, I've been up all night, like usual, because I'm an insomniac, and he decided that he was just tired and he needed a day off, I guess, I don't know, whatever, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but I thought it was worth mentioning because keeps making all these dates with me and then breaking them off. Maybe because he thinks I'm crazy after seeing me cry. Who knows, right? So, um, I went to my friend's work tonight and I kept her company and we sang karaoke children's songs. Which, and I think my recording just kind of it just kind of blipped there for a second. And I'm bringing her to YouTube. So, I don't know what name she's going to use. Probably Wicked Cricket, but she's my best friend. And she's going to tell you entirely too much about me. And so I stayed there all night and we fucked off and ate chocolate and acted stupid and every time somebody would call for a cab I'd be like are you hot are you single you'll get a discount if you are and I don't think she liked that very much but whatever right um and stayed late and I put in another job application and I'm pretty sure that one way or another I'm gonna get another job so that's not such a big deal it's gonna work every, it's gonna work itself out and so today I'm gonna go to bed for a little while and I'm gonna um, get up and work this other job where I just like text people all day long because they have really good bonuses today and maybe I can make some extra money before the first, right? And I've been having a lot of fun watching YouTube. I'm like so fucking addicted to YouTube now. I love watching the videos and I love picking my favorite ones out so that I can put them on my favorites list, obviously. That's kind of gay, right? So some of my friends are going to come to YouTube and surprise you, I think. And I met a new friend, and I think her name is Fat, Fat Lady with 
the head to no body or something. I'm sorry I forget your name, but she's so cute and sweet. Thank you for coming and comment on my page. That was really nice. And what else am I going to do? What if I was driving to Houston? I met somebody really nice, but they live in Houston, and that kind of sucks because I'm looking for somebody that's local so that I can get back in the scene. But I'm really picky, and I'm not just, you know, taking whatever. I had someone email me today and tell me that I'm sexy and funny, but that I'm totally intolerable, and that I have deep-seated emotional problems, and that I need professional help. Whatever. That dude is whacked, right? At least I'm honest, and at least I'm not a fake. I'll tell you exactly what's on my mind, and I will tell you what I think. Because I'm real, and that was kind of weird. Like, my video is whacking out. It's like, ah, it's like stopping in mid-facial expression and making me look like I'm some fucking meth junkie or something, which I'm not, so I just thought I'm going to start working out again this week, because I've been working so much that I haven't been working out, and I might start painting again, because I saw a really cool, nasty pig painting that just made me really laugh, and I have all these paintings that I haven't finished, so maybe I'll try to finish them and record them for y'all. And that's it. It's cold. It's freaking cold outside. And I have my fuzzy socks on. You want to see my fuzzy socks? Chica chica. Fuzzy socks. Fuzzy socks are sexy. La 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 la. Sexy fuzzy socks. So, oh, something I forgot to mention. I was really bored last night. So I dressed up in a petticoat and a hot pink, huge freaking skirt and hot pink heels. And it kind of reminded me of that scene in Fight Club where Marla's like wearing the bridesmaid dress. And she's like, somebody, somebody loved this for one night. And it was so cool. I had like this red and white feather boa on and this big, huge feather hair thing in my hair. And it was like, blah, blah. It had little lights on it, and I've got crazy hair going on again this morning, but I looked really cute, and I showed up to my friend's work, and I made her laugh, and that is what makes everything worth it, because when you can be silly and goofy and have fun and hang out with your friends and just make other people laugh, then everything seems like it's going to be okay, right? Don't worry about me too much if I'm crying. I'm just having a bad day. I'm not like suicidal. It's just one of those invisible things that just kind of passes over you and goes away. I have really good days and I have really bad days. And the last few days were just really boring and sad. So I have something in my teeth. That was disgusting. Ew. Sure, you don't want to say that, do you? Ugh. Disgusting. So, today's going to be a good day. Today is going to be a fun day. And I'm going to make lots of money so I can buy new shoes and pay more bills. And what else do I want? I want a cell phone. I'm like the only person in the world that doesn't own a cell phone. I feel kind of poor and technologically destitute. I look like a really poor girl without a cell phone. So, cell phone, bills, shoes. Maybe I'll buy PB a new bed or something since he loves naps so much. And I want to make my hair blonde again. It's like red everywhere except for the very top where I have that porn star blonde. So I'm going to buy some more blonde and make it blonder. So I hope everybody